came to hip hop um, through uh, it was guys that were starting in, in my community like way back back when uh, way back when um, I don't know the hip squad that was the hip squad when they were still known so um, all those guys and they had events at the club cheers and things like that so I saw these guys practice at the park that was my first attraction to, to what these guys were doing on the park they were like just practicing for what I, I, I had no clue for what it was and then I approached them and asked them that I would like to do this as well because I feel that it's attracting me so I want to do it as well and then from this and then from that point everything started to grow uh, slowly but surely uh, and I got to meet people and, and that's how I, I got into the scene and just met people and just and so it just continued and evolved up until now Jeremy Spido way back then he was one of the biggest b-boys known and he, may, he left the major mark and he was one of the guys actually that really uh, uh, inspired me and also helped me and I moved with him for a couple of years as well and he taught me so uh, with him I, I, I got to meet uh, people like Ramon as well, legendary people as well and people back in my community also that's also legends, uh, the Zainian Flames so I, need, I got to meet all those guys while I was with him and um, that just made it everything bigger and bigger and bigger and I couldn't get enough um, for B-Boy to travel first of all, that's, that, that's a major thing and um, to do competitions, that's also another major thing you know? so, and even to perform alongside artists like uh, you would see on TV or you would sing their songs but you won't present yourself uh, being on stage with them and performing so I mean that's one of uh, you know the biggest thing as well for people so there was like performed with Riddy D, with Loiso, uh, Danny Kaydem and Tauza so all those guys those local artists it's, it's something big for people you know to actually see a stage with them and you know, obviously also people that, that also uh, left the mark like Jeremy to perform with him was something big back then and it still is and also with the amount, so I mean, all those people left highlights as highlights, you know, in my life, so that I can reflect on and say at least, look, I mean, it's still going, and I can still and I can still continue with whatever happened back then. That's not to say I, I, I can stop. I've been okay. I've been to Dubai, London, Paris. I've been uh, twice to Paris. Um, and I traveled the whole of Germany, the whole of Germany I traveled with a company called, it was a production company, um, more of a theater, it was based um, on different type of acts, acrobatic acts, so it was actually a circus, and we traveled the whole of Germany, and um, I went to Switzerland, Austria, so all of those, all of those places I've, I've set foot on, and, and Portugal also, so for me it's, I mean, I can't actually put it in words, man, but it's, 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 it's too big to describe as you know, so. But that's one of the places that I've touched down on. And obviously South Africa. <laughs> um, after, I took, uh, after I took on B-Boy, um, the music that was exposed back then was conscious music. Uh, music that would inspire you, would move you, would relate to your situation, whatever it is you're in. And so, I mean, hip hop at that, at that time was more conscious and, 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 and it had that, 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 that weight that, it, that, it, that brought more positivity over. It, brought, it carried more of that over, you know. For, so, for me, it was, I, I don't know, after you, listening to the music and, and obviously the lyrics, the guys are expressing themselves in was something for me to, to really think about that, I mean, uh, these people, and, and to listen even to an MC is like, I mean, you're listening to his voice, you're listening to what he's actually trying to bring across, so for people to rap about uh, positivity and consciousness, and while you're still in an in a infant stage of this whole hip-hop thing, and, 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 and getting attached to that, makes you just want to go more into it, you know, and grow into it, and, and, and understand why people think in a certain way, and things like that, so hip-hop told me all those, you know, uh, consciousness, uh, state of mind, um, being of self, you know, knowledge of self as well. So all those things played a major role as well. So I mean, I don't know how you put, I don't know how, I know what was breaking. And then from that, everything evolved around, like, you know, it has these tentacles to sort of took in there and, you know, so. I don't know, but hip hop is something that's really, it's, it's I don't know, man.
it's bigger than me, it was bigger than me, it will still be, and it's still gonna be here, you know, so it's, the book is amazing, it's more than that even, but um, that's what I can say now. <laughs>